This package has come to me from a company called Doodaroo, who you may or may not have heard. So they make accessories for iPads and for e-ink tablets. Let's check it out. Doodaroo. Doodaroo. I think I'm saying that right. So let's get it open. Premium quality screen protector. They've sent me one for the iPad and they've sent me one for the Books Max Lumi. So I'm going to try those two things out. I'm going to compare the iPad to the Paperlite, which is what I've been using before. And they've also sent me an Apple Pencil wraparound. So let's have a look at that. I was wondering which colour they'd send me. <laughs> it's cool branding as well, isn't it? They do have them for the Apple Pencil 1 and the Apple Pencil 2. And it shouldn't interrupt the magnetic snap or indeed the magnetic charging. Let's try that out. Okay, it has taken me a few moments to put it on, but let's face it, you're only gonna put it on once, unless I guess you decide you don't enjoy using it, but then you wouldn't put it back on again, would you? So cool, it does make it look quite cool, doesn't it? And yes, it does snap on, and yes, it still charges. So let's have a little look. I guess you have to decide whether you like the feeling of the Apple Pencil without. I know that I do find that after a long session teaching with the iPad, that in fact my hand does feel a little bit like it's been gripping something quite tightly. So this does give you a little bit of extra thickness, extra softness, and finally a little bit slippy. I must admit, straight out of the thing, probably like everything, just getting used to something. As usual, what I'll do is I'll use that on my Apple Pencil for a few weeks, and then I'll give you my opinions at the end of this video. We'll see. Next thing to test out is one of the paper-like screen protectors, and I'm, I'm going to replace the iPad. I've got a paper-like screen protector on there. My thoughts on using the Doodaroo. I really like it. I think that it's a, oh, it's far better than using the ordinary iPad screen, which has a funny kind of glass feeling when you're used to writing with pen on paper. You might be interested in how it feels compared to the paper like on this iPad. It is a little bit rougher. I'm not sure whether I prefer that or not. I think you'll probably know whether you want that kind of slightly rougher than the paper like feel. It almost feels like very fine sandpaper, very, very fine. And I do wonder whether that is going to damage the nib of the Apple Pencil. It was very easy to install. The instructions were absolutely fine. And I do like the fact that they point out that you don't need to worry too much about getting rid of every single bubble because most of them will actually come as naturally the air kind of seeps out through the semi-porous screen protector anyway. The Apple Pencil cover, I like that as well. It does make it a little bit thicker. It felt a little bit funny at first after putting it on, but actually, for long periods of time, when I used the Apple Pencil, I did find that sometimes you would get a little bit of a kind of indentation and a slight bit of discomfort from holding and gripping that, that thin Apple Pencil. So it gives you that slightly wider feel. And again, you will know whether you're the type of person that likes the larger, chunkier, grippier gel type pen, or if you prefer a thinner, harder, plasticky feel to your pen. I'd say it's not very expensive to cover go for it if you like it. It is worth mentioning that the magnet snap does definitely work, but because you have got a slight bit of extra distance between the pen and the iPad, it is gonna be a little bit weaker and slightly more likely to knock off 
in your bag or whatever. But for me, that's a bit of an issue with the whole magnetic snap thing as being the way that you hold your pen, that it does easily get knocked off in your bag. And sometimes you're having to rum it around in the bottom of the bag and a bit worried you might at some point lose the Apple Pencil because it's been knocked off. For the cover on the books, absolutely perfect. No issues whatsoever about putting the thing on. Definitely needed. The Books Max Lumi has definitely got too much of a kind of glassy screen surface. You definitely need a screen protector of some kind and it is quite reflective. This is such a kind of scratchy feel that the original pencil that comes with the Max Lumi is going to be worn down really quick. I noticed after just a few seconds of using it that I was already chiseling away at that nib on the original pen that they gave me with the Max Lumi. So I would be looking to use a different pen if I was to stick with the Doodoo screen protector, which I want to do because it's, it's a good screen protector. Something like the Air Pen that you're getting now with the Note Air and the Nova Air is much more like it. This has a harder nib and so it is not gonna be damaged as quickly. It's not gonna be worn away as quickly by the abrasive surface of this Duderoo screen protector. In conclusion, do I recommend these products from Duderoo? Yes, I think you'll know whether you want them or not. And as to whether they are any better or worse than other matte screen protectors, they are slightly different, they're slightly rougher. So if you like that scratchier feel, then go with these. If you're worried about ruining your Apple Pencil, then perhaps stick with the Paperlite, as I have heard that for long periods of use, even the Paperlite wears down the Apple Pencil nib. So you'll know whether that's a worry for you or not. I don't think it's something that's gonna happen overnight or really quickly, you know, you're still gonna get years of use out of that Apple Pencil, but that isn't a nib that's expected to wear out like a lot of these Wacom EMR stylus pens that are expected to wear out the nib and then have them replaced. Thanks once again for Doodoo for sending these out to try. I'm gonna leave them on there. I will let you know if that happens, if it ruins the Apple Pencil nib really, really quickly. I will do a quick update to tell you that. Thanks so much.